After contract negotiations between Butte Silverbow County and machinists with Local 88 came to a standstill recently, a vote was put forth to strike by the union. But they are going back to the table one more time in an effort to come up with a fair contract. We're kind of a, a well-rounded group in here. We can work on just about anything if called to. So some days, most days I work on fire trucks, but if need be, I can work on an excavator or a plow or forklift or a weed whacker, whatever it calls for. Tim Seymour is one of nine mechanics tasked with working on over 900 pieces of equipment in a behind the scenes role that allows other departments with the county to get back to work when their equipment fails. I think that people just don't know that we're here, but it's one of those things that if we weren't here, you would definitely know we were gone. The machinists have been negotiating their contract since April. Recently, the county made a final offer for a 3% raise for all county employees. Tim and his team say this offer is not fair and only benefits employees making around $100,000. What we're asking for from the county is to come away from that percentage base and go to a dollar-based bargaining so that we can close that gap a little bit because the top is getting further away from the bottom and we want to close that gap for everybody in the county. Here we have ladder one. This is our ladder truck for the Silver Bowl. There's a lot of other things within the contract that these, uh, that our uh, employees under contract get that basically don't come in the total compensation package. Jim Cambich is the Chief of Staff for Butte Silverbow County. He's been in on the negotiations with the Local 88. He says the county has submitted a joint request to the Montana Board of Appeals for mediation as the next step. In the perfect world, you like to be able to help everyone as much as you can. But when it really comes down to it, uh, there are only so many tax dollars and uh, we, are, we do have a fiduciary responsibility to the taxpayers of this community. In my lifetime, I've been told that, that fair is not just what's good for you, it's what's good for you and me, and we don't feel we've been treated fairly. Butte members of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers say that a strike could still be on the table if a fair contract cannot be negotiated. In Butte, Megan Thompson, MTN News.